Hey everybody and welcome back to this video where we were building a terrain using the built-in uh, terrain editor in Unity. We created a simple terrain with textures and mountains and we also put a first person controller in there to navigate it. So right now it could be very cool to put some 3D models in there to, uh, so we have something to look at, something to interact with. Um, and it is also very easy in Unity to do that. I have a couple of models here. Uh, a barrel, a crate, a stair, a tower and a wall. And these are in the format of FBX. Uh, a format that you can export to in, for instance, 3D Studio Max. And what we need to do to import it is that we just select all of them and we drag them into the project view of uh, Unity. And then Unity is going to uh, import it and uh, do any processing uh, to put the textures on them. All right. So we can see here we got a lot of different models uh, imported now. We have um, yeah, all the models I described before. Uh, we have them now in our project view and now we just need to drag them into the world. So I will take one of the walls and drag it in here. You can see if we got a wall there. And when you are in the process of putting some models into your world it is a good idea if you're making, uh, let's say you're making a, a complex structure that contains uh, several 3D models, it is a good idea to make uh, a, an empty game object in here. So you can right click in the hero key and select create empty. And right now I will be making a simple castle in here. So I will rename this castle and then we can put the wall in there under here. This is very good when we need to make um, a collider that will make sure that we cannot walk through the wall. Then we can just uh, attach the collider to this uh, composite object instead of all the different uh, small models. Um, okay, so we will take also a tower, put it into, we got a tower there. Um, and you can see that I'm able to navigate uh, in all, all uh, three axes using these uh, gizmo tags here. I can use the X or Y or Z axis to uh, position this. I can also use the, the inspector to change the transform object, the position. Okay, um, so we can see here in our objects we have uh, these two elements here. This is very nice, and now it's a good idea to, when we want to have several of these, we can just we can just right click over here and duplicate them. So now I have another wall. I can move it a little bit, and we can make another one. So this is very very easy, people. We can just point and click. Uh, maybe we should have also another tower. And we can duplicate that. Alright. So let's have a look how this looks in our... Uh, if we play the, uh, the symbol game. We can see here we have we have our simple castle here with the models. Um, now we're able to jump with our first person controller and there is something with the proportions here that is not correctly... Uh, it doesn't really uh, scale because we can actually jump over the walls I think. Uh, so we need to correct this. Um, one way to do this is that we can 
we can set our um, our models to be a little bit bigger. Uh, we can take all of our models using the control, and then we can use the scale here. Select four. And let's see. Now we need to do some resizing now because they are a little too big now. Let's see here we can move them, and it should be working a little bit better now. All right. Still we have some flickering. But now it is a little bit more proportionally right. We can't uh, jump over the wall. All right. Maybe we need to move these a little bit more. Uh, let's see here. I will just move these a little bit more. Okay, so now we have a castle here, uh, a simple castle uh, that you can um, that is made up of um, FBX files, and we can use them in Unity. We can scale them. We can also put box colliders on them to uh, make it uh, impossible to go through the walls. Um, I will show that in a later video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.